Hello everyone, this is Kurode giving you a shoutcast and game 3 in a series between Killer and um, the Doro here on Terminus Ray. And like always, I always have to figure out what version of Terminus this is. There is destructible rocks right here, there is vents here. So this expansion is not completely um, walled off. The Vespine Geyser is not a rich Vespine Geyser. There are only 5 mineral patches here. And the rocks have 3 armor instead of 0. So hopefully I covered everything. The door responding as the, uh, the purple Protoss player going through cycling through my colors. Um, yeah, the purple Protoss player here at the 9 o'clock location. Killer spawning as the yellow Zerg at the 6 o'clock position. And we'll see what Killer does this time around. Killer so far has just been simply falling apart to um, the Doro's strange antics. A little bit of a, a little bit of a timing attack by the Doro in game one. Meanwhile, in game two, a little bit of a cheese opening to deny um, a fourteen hatch. And after the denying after denying the fourteen hatch, able to simply out macro and outplay his opponent and doing a little bit of harassment with Dark Templars and then completely transitioning away from those Dark Templars into stalk mass stalkers with sentries and only two colossi two colossi were enough to really uh, maximize the damage there and take the victory so we'll see what is going to happen here in game three as an overlord now in position will be able to spot out this one particular pylon both players know exactly where the other is but the Doro revealing or tipping his hand a little bit first by showing a forge fast expansion here on terminus meanwhile back over here we are opening up with a pool a pool hatch most likely a pool hatch a very very strong opening a drone now going to try to do um, try to do a bit more scouting or is he actually going to try to grow up and be a hatchery not quite sure the probe now making its way in the drone getting some damage onto that probe already and that one probe will just be forced to run around in circles trying to deny it and oh able to set up the hatchery anyways it looked like the probe ventured a little bit too far away and that hatchery was built no pylon yet the overlord needs to keep track of this probe making sure that there it doesn't warp in any pylons at all if it does warp in a pylon he needs to pull drones off of it in order to take down this probe he knows that there is a forge over here but he also knows that the doro set up this nexus knowing that his opponent wouldn't have enough minerals to do any sort of cannon rush any longer now a queen will be added by killer so killer essentially will be able to get spawn larva get a lot more larva a lot more drones and then also perhaps be able to lay down a creep tumor and start initiating that all-important creep spread we are getting a gateway and a photon cannon as well killer being very sure to be very far away from that photon cannon as the zerglings are now trying to push its way in unable to do anything at all and perhaps it will just attack these rocks very very slowly it looks like the zerglings will destroy these rocks it's going to be quite a bit of time before those rocks are destroyed but the photon cannon is already up the zerglings realize that but know that because of this overlord but the overlord pretty much says hey there since there is that photon cannon here might as well try to open up his opponent's space just a little bit further as we are also going into another hatchery here as well so killer once again establishing his third hatch relatively early as we are now going into a cybernetics core cybernetics core um, cybernetics for the natural build so far and we'll see what Dodoro wants to do at some point he needs to figure out what he's going to be utilizing for his harassment he he has been able to set up his second nexus but whenever you allow a zerg player to freely drone like this as killer is going to be able to do he's going to have a very strong economic advantage the benefit of ha having his hatcheries only cost 300 minerals as opposed to 400 for a nexus or a command center very very helpful and also being able to mine and harvest off of more minerals this one queen now getting some damage onto that one particular probe the probe able to sneak by though but the queen now going to come back in getting in more slashes and down it goes no gas at all though by killer so um, we're finally seeing a double extractor at the six minute mark in this game but that means it will be a lot of time before we see any sort of higher tier units the zergings will finish off these rocks in just a moment as well I don't see where that overlord is. The overlord, yeah, now went along his merry way along the north side. Um, the Doro isn't revealing any stargates, but we do see the Protoss air weapons upgrade now being researched. A rather curious research as we don't even have a stargate 
just quite yet, and we're not researching Warp Gate. Zergings were able to push aside that one particular probe. The Zergings are now going to be able to run rampant inside the space. Probes coming off, um, now just going to have a little bit of problems here, as perhaps we'll be able to finish off that one particular low hit point probe. The probe dancing back and forth, both sides trying to see if they can deal damage, but these Zerglings are causing a bit of harassment and preventing many of these probes from being able to freely mine at all. Now going after focusing down a couple of those probes, in comes a Stalker. That Stalker will should be enough to finish off the rest of these Zerglings. The Stalkers, yeah, the Zergling now able to finish off one probe. Perhaps another probe will get taken down as well. No, it, oh yes, it does get taken down as this Stalker now going to finish off this one Zergling finally. Killers, now options should be to either take up another base. Actually, no, he shouldn't take up another base just quite yet. He needs to figure out what his opponent is doing. Level 1 weapons upgrade about to be completed. So the Stargate, and this is a triple Stargate play by Dodoro. Um, this is something that is rarely ever seen. Three Stargates. Uh, we may have a um, mass Void Rays or Void Rays with Phoenixes to try to shut this down. Killer to, is getting up one Spore Crawler, but one Spore Crawler may not be enough for the sheer amount of damage those Void Rays will be able to bring. Those Void Rays have a decent range, a range of six. If, if they, Perhaps they try to charge up on an Extractor and then move in to take down that Spore Crawler. Um, able to deal 40 damage a second. 10 da um, perhaps able to shut down a spore crawler in about three to four seconds if there are three void rays and that level one weapons upgrade will be completed so perhaps even shut it down or even destroy it even faster here there is one queen nearby and that is it but killer going to have a lot of problems we do have a hydralist then coming in and that may be his saving grace if that spawn larva does come in just in time Level 1 Missile Upgrades now being researched as well. Three Void Rays already on the move. Three Phoenixes coming in right behind it. Will these Void Rays be able to deal any damage? That is the question. As they look to hunt and shut down key tech buildings. Now going after these buildings here. There is one Spore Crawler. That Spore Crawler is going to get destroyed. Yeah, just absolutely destroyed in a matter of seconds. Down it goes. And now going after perhaps some Queens. The Queens are now pulling back. But it looks like a Graviton Beam is going to pick it up. And a Queen going to get destroyed so this triple stargate play now shutting down multiple units overlords going to get destroyed and now killer is going to be perhaps be supply block there are a lot of roaches now trying to push through that front door are more void rays being added no only phoenixes and that is going to be a problem as these roaches may be able to simply push through that front door here now going after key tech buildings the roach warren will get taken down now perhaps going to go after a layer. There is one Hydralist. That Hydralist is going to get destroyed as well. As the Doro making this look easy. Three Void Rays rushing inside of this base. Roach is now shutting down Photon Cannon after Photon Cannon. And now there are, what, five Photon Cannons trying to be warped in. Those Photon Cannons in the back getting destroyed. So both sides just destroying and dealing a lot of damage to each other. Two Void Rays still in play. Picking up Queens and now perhaps going to shut down this one particular layer. Layer already dangerously low on hit points as the units are now trying to return home. Roaches are running rampant inside the base. This roach will get destroyed over here. Now going after a couple of nexuses as well. The Protoss army is larger at this stage as the Phoenixes are going after those overlords now. And now going to be able to Graviton Beam even more drones. Roach is now able to shut down one of those Nexuses. Where are the rest of those units here as the Roach is now going after the Doro's main Nexus as well? Where are those Void Rays? Void Raid now simply trying to return home. A one Roach gonna get destroyed. I believe the um, what the uh, Photon Cannons are close enough as those Roaches may be able to burrow. Yes, and now burrow and that is going to cause a lot of issues. Burrowed Roaches inside the main base and the Doro says GG. So, wow, what a com completely strange g a series of games here. Um, it looked like Dodoro was going to be able to take the game with a large number of Void Rays and Phoenixes. Killer said, you know what, that's very cute what you're trying to do with Void Rays and uh, Phoenixes. I'm just going to mass attack you with roaches up your front door. And then... I'm, since I know that you spent so much gas on your Stargates, you probably don't have a robotics facility. And in doing so, able to burrow those roaches, those roaches would be able to snipe down the Nexuses 
and then essentially shut down all of these buildings over time there was enough hydralis to um, fight back the large large number of uh, phoenixes and void rays and there's the gg so the doro losing game three in a rather unusual fashion here Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, stay tuned for game four as this series has been anything but ordinary.